to start the season at home and uh, obviously we got a few games already done so but it's a, it's always special to come back home and play the first game and obviously like uh, looking back at the last season how it ended it was like great atmosphere and can't wait to have the same thing tonight. Coming home off a big win what did you like the most about what you guys showed those first few games on the road? Well we had a pretty good first game obviously we didn't get rewarded uh, Winnipeg game was a little different we didn't play that well and then again New Jersey uh, I would say like almost whole game we played the right way we uh, played with the puck we played really good defensively but obviously they they had their push back and scored some goals uh, but we we had a lot of good things in that game and got the two points that was the most important what would you like to face the Leafs for the first time since that playoff series well uh, of course it's it's nice to like feels like we didn't play them that long time ago uh, it was like three months ago, so, uh, but yeah, it's it's nice uh, to play at home and home opener and against Leafs too, it's going to be a great atmosphere. What are the challenges of going up against Austin Matthews and trying to contain him? Well, they have a lot of uh, skilled guys up front, uh, him and like a uh, few, few others, so you have to be aware of them all the time on the ice, but at the same time, just try to concentrate on your own game. What did you guys do well to beat them? What do you remember the most, I guess, about that series against them last year, the last season, three months ago? Yeah, we just, yeah, uh, we just stick together. We just uh, did our game plan, what we wanted to do, and we defend well, tried to defend well, and obviously take uh, playing their playing their zone as much as possible. And uh, yeah, we just played the whole whole playoffs like that, and uh, that's our identity: to work hard, play hard, and. That's that's what what got us uh, pretty far last year, and that's what we want to build build this year as well. Was it weird not having Gudis there for the high five at the end of the win on? <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, he's one of those guys you you love to have on your team, and as a as a person, especially, he's a great person, and uh, for sure, everyone misses him here in uh, in this organization. But uh, now he's there, and we're we're happy for him. Is, are you going to keep the ghost thing going, or? I think one game was enough. Okay. So yeah, we maybe find someone else to do do that with. Who are the top candidates? <laughs> uh, good question. We need one guy to stay there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Cole Cost wearing seven it seems like he'd be a natural fit. Just same number. Yeah, but he's the first guy in the locker room after the game. <laughs> so we need a guy who will stay there till the end. Did you see that the video was like making the rounds and it kind of got a bit of attention in the last couple of days? Yeah, I heard that. I haven't seen it, but I heard that, yeah. Speaking of Gudis, I mean, one of the lasting memories from that series was his screaming after game five at the goalie. Um, just, I mean, that was him, right? In a nutshell, that just that, just the nut, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he's the person. He wants to win so bad and, well, winning in overtime and, uh, Going to Eastern Conference Finals, that's the emotions we had, and that's that's him, so yeah. Did he see, did he message you after your fake uh, high five there? Did he see it? Yeah, he said he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thank you.